A group of gunmen ran towards me. I could hear the gunfire. Everyone was desperate and screaming. I was feeling that this is the last minute of my life. They are going to kill me. By 2011, I was on a peak of my career. My voice was becoming very strong. I started talking a lot about the corruption, about the violence. I was receiving phone calls threatening me that I will be raped soon, I will be killed. I was announced in public as a terrorist. I remember the day that it became really risky and dangerous. I was in the car heading home where I was attacked. A group of gunmen ran towards me. They started to open the door. And I remember how scared I was looking at their face. I could not see the kindness. I managed to escape from the other door, get myself to the crowd. I could hear the gunfire. Women were screaming, crying, and it was very scary. It was very dangerous. The people going after me is using the police car, it was very visible that they are powerful guys and they are after me and I will never manage to survive. I started seeing myself in a prison in Afghanistan getting raped. When you are scared as a, as a human being, the survival mood starts. If I feel like scared, I run like crazy. The best thing about me is my height is short, so it's also difficult to recognize. Like, of course, whoever is following you, you have a difficult time. You make your way through the crowd, through the traffic. I was feeling that this is the last minute of my life. They are going to kill me. Kabul city is always huge population, people there, cars are there. I managed to hide in a garden. I was scared for my family, why I was desperate to call them and tell them, try to save yourself. It took me a few hours till it got dark. I managed to find my way to the family. It was late night, we were all very scared. We managed to get support to help us with the transportation. And we left everything overnight. It was a few hours decision. There was a truck that came one by one we leave without making any noise to make sure that nobody feels that we are escaping. It drove very, very fast. In a few minutes, the, our house disappeared from our eyes. When you're in a male-dominated culture, a way to escape from those challenges for me was football. Every time I played, no matter which age I was, it helped me to be present and enjoy the moment. It helped me to be happy. I always called football the magic ball. They took that magic ball and, and destroyed that. Just because of my gender, I am the owner of my life. I decide what is right for me. The women's national team was formed. We got the uniform with the badge on our chest. The national anthem was played for us. That was the most beautiful thing uh, ever in my life. Everything we sacrificed in our life, it was worth it. And once again, we had Taliban that took over the nightmare. <laughs> I was thinking about all the girls who continued the activism to football. I was the center in this operation to get them to the airport of Afghanistan in the mess and chaos and where everybody was desperately trying to get, leave Afghanistan and it continued helping more women to get out. I felt very, very happy that at least we managed to save some dreams. But at the same time, I felt so sorry for all those young people left in the hand of enemy. I want to give a message to every woman and girl, every human being listening to my voice. Do not underestimate the power of individual and also do not easily give up. My voice helped the national youth team of Afghanistan. Today, they are living in the UK. They managed to escape because I didn't underestimate the power of a voice.